I wouldn't at all call myself a globalist, though. Uh, like, I, I don't think the world needs to be one kind of unanimous open border thing. I think it's wonderful that every country is is vastly different and that there's a place for everybody, you know? There are definitely places that I think are significantly better than others. Um, but that's just my own outlook. And my rating just stopped. I don't know why. Did my son end his war, perhaps? No, he did not. I don't know why my raid just stopped. If I leave and come back? Nope, I have genuinely no idea, because the only battles I just did, I was successful in. Okay, that's confusing. I guess I'll just put down the troops then. Cobra Commander says I have nationalist leanings, just want to blanket apologize. Have you said anything to uh, consider is considered me in the chat? I don't think there's anything wrong with being nationalist as long as you don't take it in a in a way of hating another country. I think that that is the negative side of nationalism, is when you use it to shit on other countries. When you're simply proud of your country and you love your way of life, there's nothing wrong with that. People sometimes associate like nationalism with um with uh, authoritarianism or fascism, though. Um, those things are not intrinsically linked. If you are fascist or, uh, or, or heavily authoritarian, that is something that I strongly oppose. I am 100% for democracy. I'm for very open for democracies and very into liberties. I'm into very, very strongly protected human liberty. I consider that ultra-nationalist and those people are crazy. Consider what ultra-nationalists like hating other countries? Yeah, that's that shit's crazy. That's bad. Independence revolts? But why would the independence revolt end my ability to raid them? That's what I don't get. Um, the World War I, World War II conscription crisis. One of the examples of why so many Quebecois hate the English Canadians because forced to draft and they were against that. I can see that, but again, like that's before any of our lifetimes. That's not a, a valid reason to hate modern English Canadians. None of them choose, chose that. They weren't alive for it. Everyone's human and we live in the same world. Yes, I, I do have a baseline respect for humans on a human level, which I think is very important. Especially if you're from a place where you might have ideas that I might consider backward, but you're from a place where you wouldn't have learned any other way. I have a baseline respect for these people, even if I don't agree for the, with them. Uh, because if you were never exposed to an opportunity to see another worldview, I can't blame you for having a worldview that I think is quite poor. People from inner Papua New Guinea, cannibalism is still there, but I can, I don't automatically hate them as individuals for that, even though I think it's a horrific thing, because they don't know any other way of life, you know? Unless you're along the coast of Papua New Guinea and you have access to the outside world, the internal parts of Papua New Guinea is still pretty much tribal and has almost no contact with the outside world. So, you know. Uh, my great-great-grandfather fought for Canada in World War I. Yes, uh, mine as well, actually. Uh, I believe it was my great-grandfather was a probably mentally ill uh, combat engineer. He would have dug trenches. He would have put up uh, barbed wire fencing and stuff. He survived. No. Yeah, he survived the war, yes. Uh, and I, I also had a relative, a couple of relatives who were in World War II. Uh, all of my relatives fought, well, not all of them. Most of them fought on the Allies, but we would have had a few that, their names are probably lost, unfortunately, who fought on the Axis because, um, the country my family came from was annexed by Germany, and they were conscripted into the army along with the Czech, actually. Um, my family is Slovak, and so some of them would have been conscripted against their will into um, into the German armies uh, through Slovakia. So yeah, fun fact, I have some family that fought on both sides of the war. Uh, I highly doubt they would have ever fought each other, though, because... Um, the ones who were conscripted into the Axis would have been ground troops, pretty much meat shields. Whereas uh, most of my family on the ally side were in the Navy. They wouldn't have had any contact. Anyway, uh, world's a dangerous place. Someone's trying to kill Stomp that baby. We don't know who, do we? 
No, although we do know there's a plot to kill me that is uh, getting a little bit of traction, actually. This guy, my rival, of course. Can I just arrest him? I could duel him, but he's a good duelist. I could imprison him. No one will object. What does he own? Nothing. Try and imprison him. Got him. Uh, I will throw him in the pit. Yeah, I don't want to ransom him. There we go. That'll shut that down pretty much. Slovakia, brothers and best friends. Exactly. Um, oh, vassal. What religion are you? You're Tengiri. Okay. Well, servants uh, such as I surely deserve some recognition and reward from time to time. So I only know that you hold huge lands of many titles. I am not giving you my land. Greed does not become of you. All right, we can speed this up now that we're not raiding again. I'm from Italian and German heritage, this is true satellite. So some of my relatives fought for the Axis, yeah? See, that's another one of those things. There, there's, don't beat yourself up just because relatives fought for the Axis. That's obviously, it wasn't your decision, and chances are it wasn't their decision either. Uh, it's, if you were in one of those countries at the time, you don't really choose to not be in the army, you know? So, um, you know, don't beat yourself up for that. Don't, don't hold yourself down for things that your ancestors might have done. That wasn't your decision. Just know where they went wrong and don't do that same thing that they did wrong, you know? Learn from history. Don't beat yourself up about it. I'm carrying out my duties for the Champions of Pure, and I have met veteran Zikmund. Oh, isn't that my rival? No. He's a guy we must have dueled or something. One would be hard-pressed to find a more unsympathetic character. That bastard. I suspect he's spreading lies behind my back. Um, I don't want to be rivals with them. I'll just lose a little renown. I don't care. Completely agree. Good. I just don't want yourself beat. Don't want you beating yourself up about it. If I want to know the history of Quebec, here's a link. The Wikipedia article of the history of Quebec, I don't believe is terribly accurate. Mostly because anytime you get a country or people that are very nationalist, uh, they tend to edit their own wiki articles really hardcore and police them really hardcore to be as positive as possible. So I can almost guarantee that that wiki article has a lot of glossing over of things. But if you want a general overview, I'm sure it does a fine job. Czechoslovakia doesn't exist. We divided. That is true. In fact, it was during World War II. Um, it was uh, second Vienna Award? First Vienna Award? I don't remember which one. But... Um, uh, Nazi Germany annexed all of what is now Czech Republic, which Overlord there is from, and they also puppet-stated Slovakia. They, they split it from Czechoslovakia into Czech Republic and Slovakia. Uh, um, the Czech Republic, they annexed completely. Slovakia, they made basically a puppet state where they, they put their own Nazi sympathizer in charge. It was, a, a, I believe it was a Catholic priest they put in charge, actually who was a Nazi party member. I believe he was actually a Slovak man, but still, obviously, it's... Obviously, that doesn't really make it any better. Uh, what is this? Um, accept the mission to loot a province. Targu... Jew? That sounds far away. Where is that? Uh, Targu... Jew? Uh, County? Barony? Oh, that's, that's right on our border. That's actually not that bad. I will gladly go do that. That's easy. Muta Conference was annexed of Czech Republic. Yeah, that was it. Right, the Vienna Awards were elsewhere. Uh, right, saddle my horse. We are totally not catching the thing, because I never have. The chance of actually catching it are very, very low. Alright, uh, do you guys have an organizer on you? There you go. That That is the organizer. He just has really shit martial skill now. Whatever. Warriors Lodge will never give you impossible missions. That is good to know. Are we good enough to challenge the hero thing now? I think we might be. 
Oh, they just made me a hero. Okay, sweet. We're a hero of Piran now. Awesome. Uh, we didn't even need to duel this time. Where did Stomp That Baby's Men go? Uh, he still has like 3,000. He's still in the war. He's 68% in favor of the Emperor, the Holy Roman Emperor. It looks like Stomp That Baby's gonna lose the war now that they've reunified. He's probably gonna lose a lot of money in that war. I wish I could see the terms and conditions of a surrender. But you can't do that unless you're in the war yourself. Oh, God, I hope I don't inherit that war. Actually, what's the army like for them? They're only in one war right now, which isn't good. They have a lot of troops. Actually, if genuinely, if I were to join that war, if like my, if I die right now and I inherit the war, I'd have a decent chance at winning. Um, I'd probably need to call in some allies, but I'd have a decent chance. Vienna Award gave territory to Hungary. Uh, first taken Czechoslovakia and second from Romania. Right, because they took um, the north northwestern Romania. That was it. It was uh, Transylvania, right? That was the state they took? I believe so. Kind of like along the river and the mountain range. I think that was it, was it. Just trying to remember my World War II history here. Or I guess in this case, it's right. It's in the lead up to World War II. How's our threat? 9%? We've almost gotten rid of the defensive pacts. Scratching Sentryside, we knock on an old cr uh, knock on door, old crone opens when you see the hunting party. She cackles and, okay, I can have her sell me a potion. I can do positive things, it can do negative things, I think it can kill me, but it can also make me catch the stag. Fuck it, I'm gonna do it. How old am I? 55, I'm gonna do it. Uh, we have diarrhea. Drink the potion down, you start to feel all queasy and you pass out. As you wake up, you have a strong headache and no desire to continue a hunting expedition. Old Crone has disappeared, your guards don't seem to know where or how. Cool. Let's, uh, we're not leading right now, right? Good. Great. Legendary Gathering, lose 500 renown. Lux the Society Legend Progress Bar. That sounds cool. I don't know what that is, actually. We have money. Let's get ourselves uh, some more jewelry. We also have some renown, so just in case I die of this horrific diarrhea, let's start spending some renown again. Oh, and we have enough um, piety that if we have a nearby place, there we go. We can start upgrading a little. Maybe we're gonna die. So sad to stump that baby. Return to your court. Yeah, I won't give up. Nothing happened. Yes, everybody, we're going to buy some bling. My stuttering has disappeared. Oh, sweet, we're no longer shy. Good. Prog Prosper. Is that second level prosperity? Second level. We're flourishing. Beautiful. New recruits have been uh, partaking in our initiation ritual, allowing the Champions of Puran to grow in numbers. Good. Do we want to, uh, oh, see, treatment for illness. Yes, we want to do that. I was going to say build a uh, totem, but I don't think, I think we need more money for that. I don't remember. Because uh, maybe we want to at some point, because I think it does last, like, forever. Like, the Frontenac Castle. I visited Frontenac Castle. It's very cool. In Quebec, we have a diversity of building and other things like Frontenac Castle. Yes, I'm aware. Again, I really like the culture of uh, Quebec. I hate their government. Their government's really shitty. I'll put it this way. Every single year, including this year, uh, we had to send a billion dollars of taxpayer money and government aid from other provinces to Quebec to bail out their shitty economy because they mismanaged their own money so horrifically poorly. So Alberta makes money every single year and has to send millions of dollars to be part of that billion dollars that goes to Quebec. How pissed would you be if you're a taxpayer in Quebec? That this place, all the way across Canada, that you have nothing to do with, that you need to obey their stupid French rules that have nothing to do with you, you need to pay them the largest sum of this billion dollars to bail out their government. Because we have a rule in Canada, provinces that under earn a certain amount will get paid by the provinces that over earn a certain amount to try and stabilize their economy. Every year without fail, we need to send a billion dollars to Quebec. Because every time, they mismanage their money really badly. <laughs> Everyone's just like, damn. <laughs> Even Lord Samuel's like, I hate my government. <laughs> like, it, it is baffling. Try the Ohio government. We make a surplus and yet 
uh, are somehow still in debt. Yeah. Dude, we can't even manage to have good roads. How can we manage our money? <laughs> it says TKL. I know, right? Canada in general, our government's not the greatest with money management, but Quebec is next level bad. How do you get that much money boosted? You? That's the thing is, we give them all this money, and so they just misspend it. If they had to earn that money, they probably wouldn't misspend it so badly, because they know that no matter- Oh, excellent treatment, nice. They know that no matter how badly the economy goes in Quebec, they'll just get bailed out by the rest of Canada. God, I do not like the Quebec government. The fact that they sit around... That displays authority to look fine jewelry. Absolutely. Invite him. And give him 150 gold. Return home. We got the renown and everything. We did the raid. Uh, I don't want to stay here, do I? Oh god, I could actually make a lot of money out of this place because it is castles and stuff. Some of it's castles, at least. I'll keep raiding a little. Um, <laughs> our government is a thieves guild, so <laughs> so overlooked. I really like the way you worded that. That's great. Lord Samuel says they suck so much. Every year in election, we vote for a random political party because they, uh, because the ones in power suck. Yeah, Quebec's got a lot of political power party. It's, it's, it's very strange. The rest of Canada pretty much has three big ones. Quebec's got like five, I think. The government of Quebec is the Guild 2 assembly. That's a good way to put it. Yeah, it just feels like it arbitrarily switches around and nothing really changes. All right, what is this? Fine day and you're out hunting with a small party as you take a break to eat your midday meal. You find yourself in a discussion on archery with Sto High Chief Stomp That Baby. Turns out that he's a devout follower of Pierre. Of course I know that. Uh, you no longer talk uh, the more you seem, the longer you talk, the more you have in common. Yes, become close friends. We already have like a hundred relation. It's my son. We're on great terms. All right, uh, I can't, what is this? What does he think he's doing? Uh, I, I don't, yeah, give Dunk Prophet some, some, uh, stewardship. I don't care about 50 prestige. And I no longer have diarrhea. Good. That's, it's usually a good thing when you lose your diarrhea. TK says, man, there's so many useless protective laws. We can't even get into, uh, we can't even get into giveaway or win stuff if there is no French guidelines coming along with a prize. It's legal. I know, right? I, there's no bigger joke. Oh, what is this? Where are you? How the fuck did my wife recently visit here? It's like Southern Egypt. What the hell? Going into Ethiopia. How the fuck did we visit you? My Fizzite Christian. Yeah, they're Coptic Christians. No, I respectfully disagree getting a defensive pact with you. How the fuck did we visit them? What the hell? <laughs> it's amazing. Hey, Matt. At That was a good Ontario beer. Stonewall Light by the Cool Beer uh, Brewing Company. It's a dollar, and it's way better than one dollar beer has any right to be. Uh, sponsored by the Ontario government, which actually is uh, how we have a buck of beer. That's a government program. It's one of the few Ontario government programs I like, because I also really don't like the, the Ontario government. Uh, the, the Ontario government's pretty crap too, uh, but the buck of beer, that's good. That's that's an important cultural thing, if you ask me. At least she wasn't a Nigerian princess. Yeah, she sent me this email about this non-aggression pact. If I simply send her my credit card number and all of my gold, uh, I will say the only thing Quebec is fucking good at is making beer. Que Quebec does make quite good beer. I will definitely give them that. Um, but hey. A buck. Well, it, it's a buck thirty, but you get your. That's the de the thirty cents is the deposit on the beer bottle. When you, when you hand the beer bottle back, you get your thirty cents back, which is fine because I'm a good Canadian. I always store my bottles and give them back to the uh, to the Crown corporations because that lowers the price of beer for everybody if you return your empties because it saves money on rebottling costs. And so, for the sake of everybody else being able to get cheap beer, I always make sure to return my empties. It's just, I feel like it's a civic duty as a Canadian, you know? I, but what, in quick, for anyone who doesn't want, who doesn't know why I say, like, I think a buck of beer is a good cultural thing. That is one of the most important things you can do for the poor of Ontario, I think, is a buck of beer. Everybody always talks up this, these government programs for, like, giving them, uh, you know, different job opportunities and stuff. But I've been a part of that system. I've been part of different welfare systems in Canada. In Ontario especially, yeah, we're getting raided kind of, but it's getting taken care of. 
um, they're really horrifically badly mismanaged. Like, I have horror stories of my own personal stories with them. Okay. You can see how they didn't go to this. They went to low priority message. That means they were things we already had, so they got trashed. That sucks. But, um... I've been a part of those systems before, and I can tell you they're horrifically badly mismanaged. But you know what's really cheap that you can do? A buck a beer. Beer is really, really important, especially culturally to the lower class of Canada, which is what I've almost always been part of and been around my whole life. Um, they're going to be buying beer no matter what. So if you want them to be able to make the most enjoyment out of they can uh, that they can out of their money and indulge in Canadian society, which a big part of that is beer. If you want them to be able to participate in that and be able to enjoy the fruits of their labor with whatever money they make, be able to have that dollar really go to something, even with how bad our economy is getting, then a buck a beer. That is actually a really good government program that is wildly popular here. It's an important cultural thing. I'm not even a big beer guy, but one dollar beer? I'll get some occasional beers. You know, I'm watching my weight, obviously. Uh, and so I only, I, I'll only have a beer on a day when I have the calories to spare, uh, which is why I've been losing weight so well, which is great. I'm almost, I am almost at 12% body fat, which is awesome. Yeah, drink one with a Canadian, you've made a friend. Except for the, if you go to the fucking Lickbo, they make fun of you for asking for uh, $1 beers. They like fucking moralize to you. It's really stupid. Okay, the Great Pillar. We can actually afford it really well now. Increases the moral authority of Slavic faith. See, that's the thing is I don't need that. Gathering point for shamans and offerings of God. That's kind of why I don't want to build it, is I don't need a pillar for Slavic faith. I want to switch at some point. Does anyone know if it has any other bonuses? Here in the Czech Republic, uh, beer is, is um... S Cultural? I'm guessing you mean cultural as well. I've heard that Czech beer is awesome. I have heard so much that Czech beer is really cheap and really good. Like, it has no right to be as good as it is for the crazy low price. Like, I, I always hear Germans say that they'll day trip to uh, the Czech Republic just for great drinks. So, fucking good on you. If you have the Germans coming to your country to drink, then you must have some damn good beer. Um, Great Scholar King Volian. I'm known as the Great Scholar? No, I'm known as the Fox. I have a fucking learning of three. You're just sucking up to me. <laughs> I hence first invite you against my enemies. Who are you at war with? Uh, you're at war with this dink? He's got like 2,000 troops, that's it. Uh, it's really just this guy. You know what, fuck it. I'm gonna join his defensive war. Let's kick some ass. There we go, we're gonna lower the game speed there. We're gonna pause and you know what? It's been like an hour and a half anyway. Now's a perfect uh, time to end the stream. Thank you everybody so much for coming to the stream live. Stay tuned if you're here live and we'll go raid one of my friends. We can make their day. We have like 70 of you guys here. Um, thank you so much for going through my political ramblings and everything. Again, at the end of the day, my stance is on basically everything is uh, be good to each other. Don't judge somebody until you've personally asked them their opinions because you never know what their opinions are. Uh, be nice to everybody. There's never a reason to be shitty and uh, be willing to listen to people. So there you go. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube later and you want to catch it live next week, then remember it's every single Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern time uh, is when I go live. Um, make sure to check for like, you know, time differences and everything and like how daylight savings time might work between, uh, just do Toronto and where you live. Between Toronto and where you live because Toronto same time zone as me. So, uh, yeah, thank you everybody so much for watching, and until next time, have a nice day.